This final episode of Metroverse begins with a little tale from the one and only Ice Hero. Where I'm from, there is an idea that if one could travel in time, there are some things that would result in what is called a paradox. These paradoxes would, in theory, either question reality or break it. I'm not particularly familiar with all of the theories, but from what I've read, if any were true, it would have devastating consequences. Some of these include if you were to go back in time and kill your parents as, you know, when they were a child. Others are much more complicated, although one that fascinates me right now has a popular name of the bootstrap paradox, and the example of that from my home is if a time traveler read a book, but that time traveler then wanted to meet the person who wrote it. So he goes back in time. When he gets there though, calamity strikes as this man does not exist. He looks long and hard, but despite all of his knowledge, this man, despite what the history books say, does not exist. So the man thinks, if he's got this book, but the man doesn't exist, history needs this man and this book. So, he takes it upon himself. He becomes the author. He publishes the book, just the book, and history goes on without so much as a ripple. The question of that paradox is not whether a ripple could be detected, but rather who wrote the book. Now, I'm, I'm not one for theories. I don't like them that much. It's like dealing with imaginary numbers. But the reason this particular story piques my curiosity is because there is a particular question that has been plaguing my mind as of recent. Who came up with the name Ice Hero? Welcome back everybody to another episode, and today we are on the Metroverse server. Now, this time I um, I just finished grabbing the last of the materials I needed, but by rumor, I've heard that this mansion was as confusing as it is built by me, which I, I definitely didn't do. Um, I haven't even been around here much, and I mean, it seems kind of cool. Got a giant clock tower, a, a lot of nether bricks, and a lot of copper. Which is surprising, because I'm like, uh, my my no natural instinct with copper is, well, it's useless. Is there anything inside? I wonder if there is anything inside. It's kind of cool. Got a nice red carpet. Maybe this guy's royalty? Or, like, important? What's in here? There's nothing in here. Okay. What about in here? Oh. Oh! 14. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Very nice. Very cozy in here. I like this. I might... I might actually do something similar in my place. Okay. Um, that's interesting. It's kind of a ominous building. Oh, on top of an ominous cave. Yeah, it's a very ominous building. Oh, it's lit up down here. Do they have a secret base? Any secret bunkers? Okay, I'm not I'm not flying all the way down there. That's terrifying. But yeah, this is what what? Okay, nice mushroom, nice glowberry. Why is there amethyst? What's up here? I don't I don't like this. I really don't like this. There's lots of amethyst. Why is it in veins like ores? What are the- what are these copper tendrils? Oh. Hello, Traveler. Hello! Are you the machine? That is one name. Most people, including my plasma hero, call me the heart. So then, what is your name? 
Well, it, it seems like we're kind of going back and forth right now, so how about we make it a little official and go with uh, answer for an answer? Fine then. What is your name? Well, as funny as it is, my name is also... Not Plasma Hero. What? No, it, it is. What is your other name? Well, uh, Amelia calls me Ice Hero. Nicknames will not suffice. What is your real name? Real name? Well, um, I guess I, up until a few years ago, I was called Ember. Ember? Are you a mage born? Uh, it's my turn. It's my turn now. Fine. Ask away. Who is your plasma? My plasma hero originally had the name of Peter Howard and was one of the greatest minds of his time until the ruler of the Observed Kingdom banished him. Why was he banished? From what I read, he proposed an idea so preposterous that the king feared the safety of his people. When Peter turned to the elves, they too were filled with fear, but they took matters into their own hands and used their magic to send him here. Now my question, are you a mage born? Yes. Interesting. And with a name like that, I assume you're from a fire clan. Correct again, but it's my turn now, and so I'm going to ask... What you are, uh huh? I am what is known as artificial intelligence or AI. Right, and and asking for a friend, what is an AI? AI are constructed entities. Some are more advanced than others, simulating emotions and even creating ideas, while other ones are more intelligent with all the knowledge of the history books. I am at a peak of both. Now, I have little time before I need to leave, so I ask this question. Where do you come from? Well, it's gonna sound a bit strange, but I was originally from a world called the Ruins of Magic, then I half intentionally created a portal which led me to a castle filled with books, which is also where I met Trix, who's kinda cool if not a bit sassy. I started reading some of the books, because what else was I supposed to do there, then I found this really cool book series in the history section about a world called Unorthoblock, but the third book wasn't finished and it stopped right in the middle of a fight in the second world. So I created a portal to go to Unorthoblocks and it worked and there really was a battle and we fled, and now I'm part of an orthoblox and also a superhero? You read my books. That's what you took out of that? I just gave you like my whole backstory and that's what you focus on the books I read? Apologies, I was not aware that my books were still on the shelves after he kicked me out. Yeah, well, they are. Thank you for telling me this. It brings a new light to things. Uh-huh, sure, sure sounds like it. Now ask your final question, for I have things to do. Oh, uh, yeesh. Okay, um, how about... What is your favorite number? What? My favorite number? Yeah, favorite favorite number. Surely even Hey Highs have favorite numbers. It's not... Never mind. My favorite number is 555. Five, five. Huh. Neat. I'm sure that'll become relevant at some point. Now leave me. I have work to do. And we are done with him. That heart is kind of terrifying, but um, I think we've gotten everything we need. So, you know what? Just, uh, I will... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna portal back to Unorthoblox now. I know how to get home. That's terrifying. Everything here is out to kill me. Thank you all for watching. Sorry again that this is a short episode, but we'll be back on Unorth Blocks next time. So, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And, of course, I will always see you next time. Until then, bye bye Everything has its end. That's how life works. 
Metroverse, though, is a place of beginnings. A place where a goose lover and a duck became superheroes. Where a librarian awoke to find a new world. Where friendships were forged despite the laws of time. And where rivalries stood at the foot of trees. Not every friendship or rivalry may last after Metroverse. Some friends may be forgotten, while enemies are forgiven. Alternatively, other friendships may be strengthened like steel, while some rivalries inflate like balloons. I implore you to stick around and listen, for I am the Journaler.